Good evening. Um, it's a lovely Sunday evening to be with you here today, and it's lovely to be here with you. Um, so um, today, I just wanted to discuss a topic which I sort of believe it's it's sort of overlooked, but not necessarily not overlooked. But I think there's a confusion between the two um, sometimes. So um, again, just to um, note, I'm talking in relation to or in the context of network automation. Um, so and the and the topic is really is um, automation. Um, versus orchestration, or well, what is the difference? Um, so, just to give you sort of a, uh, a practical sort of example, first of all, um, or theoretical example, um, would be to um, so automation. So, automation refers to uh, to be a bit more sp like to be a specific. Automation refers to the specific process or a task um, that's been automated. Um, without any human intervention. So basically the term specific is, is very important in here um, because it's referring to a specific task that's been automated uh, without any human intervention. Intervention. Um, so imagine this will be similar to, so in terms of network automation and uh, just to give you a, a, a more practical example, so it'll be something like um, Obtaining an interface, um, 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 sort of the in, an interface is layer three details um, via show command. Um, now imagine doing that multiple, um, you know, through multiple interfaces. Um, obviously, automating it will save you a considerable amount of time. So if you had to sort of query multiple interfaces in a, in a router, um, again. Although we're doing it, repeating that process several times, it's still an automated process because it's referring to a single process, a specific type of process. Um, another example will be uh, making a um, an API call um, in NetConf um, to um, retrieve again interface details. Um, again, that's a specific task um, that's been automated, so that would go under the category of automation. Or even using um, um, using a Python uh, code uh, um, and uh, calling um, using the NetMeco module, and then doing a show IP interface on a specific in you know uh, specific interface um, that would be again um, um, a specific task, regardless of how many devices that you query. Um, it's still a under automating because you're doing a one particular specific task. Um, again, when I'm, you know, it's worth mentioning that I, when I'm talking regarding this, um, I'm talking in the context of networking and infrastructure, not the cloud, um, because that tends to get people confused as well. Um, so that's, that's what automation refers to. Um, in terms of orchestration, um, by definition, it's a, a set of multiple automated procedure running concurrently. So what that means, just to give you an example, would be, um, Imagine um, there was a, a process um, where an automated process where I would um, um, by create a VLAN and then create a VLAN interface for that VLAN and then create the layer three um, um, addressing for that VLAN. So the IP address and subnet, and then automate um, a DHCP um, IP helper for that. Uh, uh, you know, attach a DIP helper to that specific interface, um, so that a D DHCP um, can server can can um, supply that interface with a um, with an IP with the layer three details. Um, and it doesn't matter, you know, that they, there's a lot of process. There at the end of the day, they are all automated, and they are single process which is being automated. All of these tasks are considered network automation because they are you are doing these singly. So if we are doing each by one by you know one by one. So if we're doing creating the VLAN you know uh, on multiple devices, and if we're creating VLAN interface on multiple, these are all automation. These are all network automation um, types of tasks. Now, um, now let's say for example we make a connection or a link between them. OK, so, for example, let's say we create a specific VLAN right? for a moment there. Um, let's just call it VLAN 10. Um, and for VLAN 10, we create a VLAN interface for VLAN 10. And um, we create and then we go ahead and we create an IP address, um, a layer three, basically, details for that VLAN interface. 
and then we proceed with the uh, creating a DHCP um, server to a pool will, that will attach to that interface. Um, that is orchestration because we are doing those concurrently. We are actually creating a chain of events. We're actually autom we're actually linking several automated processes, and that is what is what orchestration is. Um, is making a connection between all of those processes and um, um, which inherently is orchestration. Um, um, again, this is um, something that's, um, I think it's, it, it's, I mean, it is talked about quite often, um, but I think there's like a slight confusion on what it, what, what is, um, 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 so as, as usual, um, on this channel, I like to sort of talk about the theory and also give you a practical example. Um, so it, this is a quick practical example of a um, network, what would be considered as automation. Uh, um, so this um, exact, um, as you can see, I'm just going to highlight it for you. This function, um, what it's simply doing is just getting the um, this attribute, so the, sorry, this um, variable, um, which is a class attribute, um, and it's simply um, placing that in this function. And what the function is doing is just sending out a show IP interface on a specific interface. Um, so it's getting the IP address um, and the relevant details um, of that interface. And that is considered a network network automation um, because we are it's a single process. If it's a single process, I mean, it doesn't matter how many um, devices I sent this procedure to, this function to. Um, it could be hundreds of of, of um, switches or routers that I'm querying. It's still seen as a network automation because it's a single process, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm now going to show you an example of what would be like for a um, for a network, um, um, what will be considered as a um, uh, an orchestration method. So this is a um, this is um, a code from my spine and leaf topology, um, and this is essentially an orchestration. Um, so what I mean by that is I'm just going to quickly show you. Um, so if you quickly have a look at the code, um, we are basically standing up or provisioning an entire infrastructure. Not only are we creating interface IP addresses, but we're also creating the interface name, um, interface description. We are, you know, we are, if you have a look, we are, you know, we're creating the interface um, um, port channel. We are also creating the OSPF. We start an OSPF process. Um, we are putting, um, we are advertising network um, um, subnets on OSPF. Um, we are connecting to the device. I mean, we are doing a lot of diff many different processes, um, um, and um, we are essentially linking all of those processes together, which will meet, which will, which is technically um, network orchestration. Um, so the, you know, we're we're not automating a specific task here. We are automating many many different tasks which is technically network orchestration so this is um what i would like to clarify because i think it's we automatically sort of label um, um everything as network automation which is not necessarily the case it's orchestration because you are technically doing uh, multiple processes um you're automating multiple processes and if you're automating many processes and you're linking those processes together it's um it's 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 a network um it's it's an orchestration it's an orchestration because you are linking all of those processes together um you sort of like gelling those processes together so process one will initiate process two process three automation will pull the ship in it process four and so forth so that's the difference between orchestration and automation um, um the other thing i would like to talk about is um, um the term orchestration is sort of used mainly around sort of it's, it's associated really with, with with devops and you know cloud devops tools and um there's a there's a you know th there's a good reason why that is um um, um why it's associated with devops so, um i'm just going to quickly show you a um uh, a terraform code um which um shows this um so the reason why it's um 
um, it's associated with, um, with with DevOps. So here's a quick Terraform code, um, which I'm just going to quickly show you. Um, so this is a, a Terraform code um, that will um, basically um, provision a virtual machine um, for um, vSphere and um, vSphere client. So it's an on-prem client. Um, just to make it clear, so Terraform is a tool um, that you, that's essentially used to build, uh, manage um, infrastructure, virtualized, and I need to make this clear, virtualized infrastructure. Um, um, now that virtualized infrastructure can be either on the cloud or it can be on-prem utilizing um, um, the um, um, VMware or Hyper-V and so forth. And basically it just allows you to um, stand those up, um, th those um, um, virtualized infrastructure um, through code. And that's essentially what it is in a, in a nutshell. Um, there is nothing, you know, I mean, it's th there seems to be a big sort of what is it what does it do it's just essentially a way of provisioning configuring and building virtualized infrastructure whether that's on the cloud or whether that's on the prem and it's all on the terraform website so if you go on the terraform website all the provider details so if you need to connect to a specific provider so think of provider as the actual host um and uh, the, the host that you're connected to. So whether that's a, you know, um, um, Azure Cloud or whether that's AWS, all the details to connect to those are actually on the um, um, Terraform um, Harisha Cop website. Um, so it's a, it's, it's just way of provisioning those via code. Um, so just to give you a brief insight. So the, go back. So I'll sort of digress. Um, so just to go back on why the term orchestration is always associated with with, with DevOps is quite simple. Um, if you have a look at this code, so this is a Terraform code. And what this is doing is it's connecting to a specific provider. So in my case, it's connecting to um, uh, my vSphere um, and vSphere um, um, provider. So this is my on-prem um, um, ESI is an ESXi host. So this is just an example. So if you notice, it's actually connecting to a data store, um, and that's the name of the data store, um, TB, uh, 2B, sorry. Um, um, it's actually connecting to a, um, a resource pool, so that's the cluster, um, and that's the network um, that it's connected. So it's actually connecting to a specific switch. So this is well, I, the term network here. So this is a data. So this is the network. So this is like a V switch. So this is the name, sorry, not the V, but this is the port group. This is essentially the port group that's on the switch. Um, it's connecting to, I hope that makes sense. So this is the port group. And this is the virtual resource that we're actually building in, in, um, in um, Terraform. So as you can see, um, we're creating a virtual machine Okay, the name of the virtual machine is Terraform Test, and all what it's simply doing is, is gaining those attributes from the um, resource pool and the data store ID, which will refer back to which data store it's going to use. And these these are the um, attributes, so you like of the um, the virtual machine. So you can have one CPU, it's going to have two gigabytes of RAM. Um, this is the guest ID. It's a Windows 64 server, and that this is this um, SCSI type. So, and this is the network interface. Um, um, ID that it's going to have, and um, this, so this is the ID of the. Um, this is essentially the network card of, of the um, of the virtual machine, um, and this is the disk that we're going to create as well, and this is the CD-ROM, and that's going to be in that CD-ROM. So it's a Windows um, Server 64 um, CD-ROM. So that's the case. Um, 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 it's quite clear why the term orchestration is. You know associated with devops um, because if you notice here it's not a single process that's been automated they are creating an entire infrastructure so this is very similar to network automation when we like i, like I mentioned when i go to um change the name of a um of let's say five switches and i then i set an ip IP address on particular interfaces on a set of five switches. Then I go ahead and create a, um, a VLAN on a set, of, and I do those all at once. Um, that is similar to this because that is orchestration, and this is orchestration because they are not only automating a single process, so they're creating a virtual machine, but they're also orchestrating many other infrastructures, such as the port group that it's going to. So th there's a lot of different um, um, methods. Uh, or, or sort of um, auto, um, um, processes that are being linked together 
and all executed so it's essentially orchestrated so that is why the term orchestration is also always associated with with devops tools um thank you for coming to my channel and um if you like this please um do give me the thumbs up and um hope you have a lovely day peace out thank you bye bye